After a federal court ruled his book's publication could go ahead, John Bolton was once again in the spotlight. The former National Security Advisor's book will be released to the general public on Tuesday. Among the many statements critical of his former boss, that obstruction of justice was a way of life in the White House, a view he says was shared with others in the president's inner circle. Look, these were things that I could see some evidence of, and they bothered me greatly. Members on both sides of the aisle in Congress remain sharply critical of Bolton for his refusal to give evidence in impeachment proceedings and his apparent willingness to profit from his criticism. John Bolton is a political opportunist and a profiteer. He had the opportunity to step forward and participate in the House impeachment inquiry and share any information that he had about wrongdoing by President Trump and other members of his administration, and he declined. The problem is that when you're selling it in a book, you're not putting yourself in a position to be cross-examined. So for $29.95, he can monetize his national security clearance, but under oath, he would have had an opportunity to answer questions and not just make assertions. The White House has made clear it is contemplating civil or criminal charges against Bolton, but apparently unruffled by this threat, he continued to lash out at President Trump. I don't think he's fit for office. I, I don't think he has the competence to carry out the job. There really isn't any guiding principle uh, that I was able to discern other than uh, what's good for Donald Trump's re-election. Other critics point to the president's decision to go ahead with a campaign rally in Tulsa as evidence of his willingness to put people at risk in advancing his political agenda. His supporters in Oklahoma entered through scanners and temperatures were taken. But few wore masks in accordance with government health guidelines, including children. And of course, the president, who refuses to do so. The highest risk gatherings are those that are large, indoors, where people can't stay apart from each other more than six feet, and where people travel from out of town. Six campaign staffers tested positive before the rally even began. The incubation period is estimated to be up to two weeks, so the president could be holding another rally before any infections during this one are fully accounted for. The organizers say there have been applications for a million tickets. If so, the vast majority of those who applied stayed away. The scheduled speeches by president and vice president to the expected tens of thousands in the Overfull area were abruptly cancelled. A possible sign that while the president may act as if the pandemic is over, many of his rank and file followers do not. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.